Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Curly K Glam, and I'm here today to bring you another video. Okay, so the video I'm bringing you today is how to do a slick pony, a high pony, a slick high pony with a drawstring ponytail. And the ponytail that I will be wearing today is from Model Model Paloma. Now, Model Model Paloma duos as in half wig and as a drawstring ponytail. So you have a long comb in the front, you have two combs in the back with a drawstring. I did do a review on how Paloma looks as a half wig here on my channel. So if you haven't seen that initial review, click the link down below in the description box and check that out. Um, I did purchase Paloma from, I believe, samsbeauty.com. I will leave a link down below. This wig was a very, this wig slash pony was very inexpensive. Um... I'll leave the link down below to, you know, the wig so you can see the price. And it comes in a array of colors. I got it in the BO2203. And a BO just stands for a bombre, which means it's a mixture between a balayage and an ombre. I did ask Model Model on Instagram what that meant because I didn't know. But I did purchase this um wig on my own, this wig slash ponytail on my own. And it is not, this video is not sponsored. Okay, so this is what the ponytail looks like has a very beautiful curl pattern. I've been wearing her, I've been rocking her as a wig, um, half up, half down, with just a little leave out, leave, blah, 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 a little leave out in the front. Um, my hair, I just, it's freshly um, detangled and taken out of a twist. I had um, two strand twists all over my head. That's how I wear my hair under my wig sometimes. As you know, a form of protecting my hair. But my hair is freshly washed. Um, I didn't wash it last night, but I did wash it a few days ago. And I just want to give my hair a break for the Thanksgiving holiday. I don't want to wear wigs because I feel sometimes wigs can, you know, deprive your hair of um, air a little bit. And it can feel brittle sometimes. So I think it's important to give your hair a break. And to st even if you want to, you know, still maintain a protective style, you can do it in other ways. Such as wearing a drawstring ponytail. So this is what that looks like. The products I will be using today slash what you will need. I am using a Denman brush to, you know, smooth out my hair in the middle because, you know, once you get up here, child, it be thick. Um, a hard brush or brush for the back for my kitchen and my edges. Um, I like to moisturize my hair after I wet it before I apply my gel. Um, of course, a spray bottle to dampen your hair. Um, Hicks edges, just you know, to get my edges girl and um, Eco Styler Gel, the Moroccan kind, and it's in Max Hold number 10. My Tresemme Holding Spray, which is a level 5, which means it's maximum hold. A scarf to tie your hair down. And Outslitch Rubber Bands, because the metal ones will pull your hair out, girl. So watch out. But yes. This is what I'm just going to do. Just let me get myself together. And then I will be showing you how I do my ponytail. So I'm just going to um, spray my hair just to dampen it. Not to wet it. So it'll be drenched, but just to dampen it. Because I don't want my whole head wet. Just want to, you know, get enough to where I can manipulate my hair without pulling it out hard. Okay, here's my spray bottle. There's nothing in it but just water. My hair moisturizer of choice today is the Elastic QP um, Olive Oil Mango Butter Moisturizer. So I'm just going to put that on my hair, making sure I'm getting my ends because your ends are the oldest part of your hair and the most important part of your hair and the part of your hair that needs the most love. And this smells so good. I bought this from my local Walmart. I don't think it costs no more than five dollars for sure, but it has a very mangoey smell for those who like the mango tropical smell. Y'all, I've been putting 
that um wild growth oil in that jamaican black castor oil in my hair y'all and i swear my hair is getting super thick especially while it's in its natural state i don't think i've ever had hair this thick i've usually had you know fine hair but y'all this stuff is getting thick okay so now that my hair is moisturized what I'm going to do is, and you don't have to, you know, be skimp with it. This is the gel. Y'all, I'm so, I am late. I ain't bought Eco Styler gel in so long. I didn't know that all of them came with the new lid now, so you don't got to screw the top off no more. Very convenient and accessible. I like it. Because I've been using that clear gel for forever. I don't think I like that clear gel either. So I'm just going to put it all on my hair. Making sure I get to my front to lay down. And make sure y'all get the back and get to kitchen, girl. Because when you slick your hair up, well, luckily my ponytail is long enough to my kitchen is going to be covered. But it's going to be more than covered. But... Y'all gonna be wearing your puff and stuff. You gotta make sure your edges is slick back there. So I'm just slicking this up, making sure I'm rubbing in the product good. I'm gonna take a good amount of edge control. This is my also my first time trying Hicks, y'all. It was on sale at my local um, Sally's because it was going out of business. So I got it pretty much 50% off. And y'all, Hicks is expensive. I ain't never known for no air control to be $15. I'm so used to um, wearing the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges. That's like 3 to $4 here in Walmart. For real, for real. And now I'm just going to take my hard bristle brush and start brushing my hair up. Putting water on your hair before you do a ponytail, ladies, really makes it a lot easier when slicking your hair up for real for real makes it so much easier I know I'm talking a lot, y'all, but y'all, y'all will really get some muscles doing this. Like, for real, for real. When I say muscles, I mean it. Muscles. 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 Whew. I'm a little tired, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Now, after you do that, what I like to do is I'm gonna split my pony in half. I'm going to twist it. That way I can put it in a, a ball. And your twist ain't got to be neat. You're just twisting it. That way you can get your hair in a, in a nice ball. A good size ball. But with Paloma, you know, sometimes with ponytails, dark string ponytails, you have a limited space because... The, the um the ball space don't be that that big, but with Paloma you got plenty of space for that. I'm just gonna take another elastic band, tie that down, and make me another bun. And this is when when I want the extra sleek, I go over it a second time 
get a little bit more gel. That's the edge control, y'all. I'm sorry. <sighs> go with a little bit more extra gel just to smooth everything out. And then you start shaping the front the way you want it to look. And can y'all see that? What I'm going to do is going to spray a little bit of my Trust Me Hover Spray just to give it just to give it a little crunchy. That way, once you put your scarf on to mold your hair, it ain't going to move. Do y'all like getting y'all ponytails a little crunchy? I like getting mine a little crunchy, a little hard. That way, I know for sure I'm not going to have to keep doing it every day. And I'm going to wear this for about 10 minutes just to let it set a little bit. And then I will be back. <sighs> okay, y'all, I'm back. This is my pony. After laying my hair with the scarf now to put on Paloma first let me see where the drawstring is you know Paloma is so long the drawstring is high in the back I'm really interested to see how this is going to work because I've never did the uh, half wig that doubled as a ponytail this is a little weird because I got so much space. So, also remember y'all, I've said this in my other pony videos. You put on a brush tree ponytail. I... Oh no, I didn't. thought I broke it. You know, sometimes you, I be strong arm and stuff. I gotta be careful. Y'all. I know some ladies are hesitant with wearing drawstring ponytails because of the fact that they say that the comb with the hair thin in the middle and they pull it out. My trick to drawstring ponytails and this is what I've learned over the course of, you know, my time wearing them. With drawstring ponytails, the trick to not getting a headache is um I'm just gonna stick a bobby pin through my drawstring. The trick to not getting um a headache and your hair being thin and hurting and, and ponytail pulling your hair out is that with drawstring ponytails you put the comb in your hair you do not put the comb in your scalp so when you like there's for me there's a space when I make my natural hair ponytail there's a space and I put the comb the space between your scrunchie and where your real hair is I put the comb in that space the comb does not touch my scalp. I do not put the combs in my scalp. I put them in my hair. But y'all, after that initial tug, Paloma is very, very, very voluptuous, girl. She is not playing with the kids today. She came to show out. Now, I do got a lot of space right here because this is a wig. But, look at her. She's secure. She's not coming off. And she is lovely. I love this. This is the perfect, like, cruise beach hair. I just love curly hair, period. But this is perfect for, like, going on a cruise or something. Or, like, when you want to go to a concert and you ain't had time to get your hair done. So, girl, five, ten minutes, slick your hair up, get you a ponytail, girl, put her on, 
and go. But you want a nice cute lip? Ooh, Jesus. Yes, Paloma, girl. You gonna make me buy another one of you. And I've been looking for a ponytail with this texture for the longest. Something that resembles virgin hair. You know? But you don't gotta pay as much money. Because I swear I hate paying for virgin hair because half the time I really feel like I like synthetic hair more. And I'm not gonna lie to you, but this ponytail is serving though. She really is. So I hope y'all stayed to the end of this video to watch it. Because y'all, Paloma, is she came to play with the kids today. She came to play. Y'all, this ponytail is amazing. And I know some of y'all out there ain't as extra as me. But I'm telling you, like, for my girls who like big curly hair and ain't afraid to be every woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, Diana Ross, Shaka Khan, Donna Summer Girl. Get you a big ponytail. And look, y'all, even if you don't slick your edges, this is Paloma Covers, your kitchen girl. You see, she got a little splash of color. Y'all, y'all should get y'all a Paloma, for real. Y'all, get Mata Mata Paloma. No lie. Get Mata Mata Paloma. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Curly K Glam. And don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I'm trying to get my numbers up, y'all, on all of my social media platforms as well as YouTube. So, like, 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 share, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Deuces.